this question it was it was three part lines and it is uh, in figures i'm i don't have it sir with me let me just check in the whatsapp you send it to me this was this was the question right um yeah this was the uh, question. Yeah. yeah yes sir i have every record okay okay so you were you did it right yes sir i sent it to you also yes yes i check that so the next question is a theory based this one i will give the hint okay is as is example do you have ncrt book yes yeah. uh, no sir i don't have it right now with me so where like, it i don't if a transversal intersects two lines such that the bisectors of a pair of corresponding angles are parallel, then prove that the two lines are parallel. So what it's saying, uh, it says that, where is my pen? Okay. This says that if a transversal line AD intersect two lines such that the bisector of a pair of corresponding angle are parallel means that this 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 is the parallel this is the angle bisector yeah and this is the parallel okay to prove that that these two lines are parallel we have to prove that pq is parallel to rs this is our question mm -hmm. so we already know this angle uh, a transversal intersect two line such that the bisector yeah. of pair of corresponding angles are parallel. Pair of corresponding angles are parallel. So the, see, the, these are the corresponding angles. These are also the corresponding yeah. angles. So we have to show these two lines are corresponding. So the reason reason for being two lines are corresponding, either the corresponding angle should be equal. This corresponding angle should be equal, right? Yeah. yeah. This, otherwise, this alternate angle should be equal. We have two, three, four properties. Okay. We have to use those properties to find out the solution. So do you did you revise the chapter? Yes, sir. So will you proceed a little bit? Uh, angle A B Q is corresponding to angle B C S as the uh, alternate interior angles. No, not alter, a, in a corresponding angles. If that's true, that's the corresponding angle. But we have to proceed in the different way. It says that these two angles, uh, angle bisector, uh, and the pair of uh, such that the pair of corresponding angles are parallel. It is talking about that angle A, B, Q is half, uh, sorry, angle. Angle A E, sorry, A B E. This is half of angle A B Q. Okay. A B Q. See, this is the right statement that such that the yes, pair of bisector, this, these are the two pairs now. Yes, sir. This line B E and C G are the two, two bisectors of this angle and this angle, right? Yes, sir. So in this way, we have to see whether is we can prove that is parallel or not. Got the point? Yes, sir. So you have to check in CRT book. You must have to keep with yourself. Okay, sir. So when you will get it, uh, I'll try getting this week if I can, sir. So, how, what we do today? See, unless until you don't have book, it will be tough for us to focus. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, let me, let me show you the book I have. I can share the screen. 
Oh my gosh, this is a folder. I'm sharing the book with you. I'm sharing the screen that contains the question, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Did it with is, is visible? Yes, sir. And this is example. So instead of uh, solving is completely, I'm leaving it for you so this a b e this a b e why mel is a b e is said that a b is half of a b q angle bisector so in this way we become with that if angle bisector is equal so see that so both side a b e and b c g will yes. be equal okay it's because it's angle okay. bisector as we increase that so these also are the corresponding angles corresponding angles equal then we can reach, reach to the solution oh my gosh okay. is it? so now i'm leaving this to you this is exemplar so get the book and make your, un, yourself understand. If you have any problem, then we will do it again, okay? Okay, sir. It's like a reading assignment. I can do it for you, okay, if you wish, but there will be no much. Okay, sir. So again, we are back. So why didn't you buy the book? You may download, okay? <laughs> it's available on NCRT <laughs> website. It's See, I have the book. I have the book. It's not with me right now because it's actually in my school. I have to go get it because I kept it accidentally in my school. Okay, no problem. Get it. Okay, so again, we are back with some other problems. This is visible. Uh, yes, sir. Actually, the purpose of example is to make someone, a student, uh, familiar mm -hmm. with the concept. There was the theory, theoretical problem. Yes, sir. Okay, this is the theoretical problem. So, see, this, this is two parallel line, okay? This is two parallel mm -hmm. line, and this is the transcendent line, okay? So, this is... This is the transcendent. So this angle is equal to this angle. These two are the corresponding angle in case of this two line. Okay. okay. So, so angle angle A B E is equal to angle is equal to angle B, B C S B, G. No, no, F not. This is only the corresponding angle, no. Oh, uh, angle, yeah, this is angle only angle, right? If we expect if, if we extend this line this wall, so we got these two angles are corresponding. If we will get yeah. these two angles also equal, we may say that the sum of these two make this angle. And so if these yeah. two angles are equal, so we may say that now now this now the situation will change. Then now we say that these are the two angles and these are the transcendent angle line. Sorry, these are the two lines and these are the transcendent line. Okay, so this angle, the whole this angle is equal. Whole this mm -hmm. angle is equal. So we may we will then we will say that uh, PQ is parallel to RS. Got the concept? Okay. Yes, sir. You may miss. Okay. I'm going to 
remove all this information and make the neat and clean diagram. The diagram first I will draw. Actually, if I drawn the diagram on it over over this graph. So see, I am drawing this extending that BE line. This is the BE, BE, and CG. These two lines are parallel line. Yes, sir. Okay, as it said in the problem, what I will do, I am going to extend these two lines backward. No problem. Yes, sir. Now I'm going to do what I am going to make this trans transcendent line, right? This yes, is sir. our transcendent line. This is A, D, right? So these, yes. these two are the corresponding angles, right? Yes. You, you may use that uh, relations that when two lines is being uh, crossed by a transcendental line, then corresponding line is angle is equal. So this is angle A, B, E equal to angle B, C, G. This is the corresponding angles. Right? This is the corresponding That's angles. Me. So once we get that these a B A B E or B C B C G is equal, right? And it's been said that this is the angle bisector. This is said that A B E is the angle bisector of A B Q, right? Yes, sir. It's being said, na? Uh, yes. Angle A B E is angle bisector is angle by sector of angle A, B, Q. It means that angle A, B, E will be equal to angle E, B, Q, right? Yes, sir. So if th those are equal, we may add this. We may add this so get to get the angle A, B, Q. Yes, sir. Okay. Similarly, we got this angle and this angle. This two are the again the angle bisector. Yeah. You didn't slip well. No, I did, sir. Okay. So again, we can say that this angle is equal to this angle. So we may say that angle B C G is equal to angle. Uh, G C S, right? Yes, sir. So if if the corresponding angle is equal, so we may say that this angle is equal to this angle. Yes, sir. If these two angles are equal, then this these line P Q and R S are parallel. Yes, sir. Corresponding angle. Yes, sir. It's corresponding the angle. Yes, sir. Yes. But it's still. But still, I will ask you to go and get your book. Okay, mm -hmm. without dish, we can't we can't cook the food and we can't eat the food. <laughs> okay. So dish okay. is more. Uh, that book is more important than anything. That's the reference. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, note it down. I noted it down, sir. Okay, good. A screen is visible? Yes, sir. So next question is, we will complete this chapter by today, hopefully. Okay. So how we'll proceed for this? In fact, 6.24. They're saying angle G E D if angle A B is parallel to angle C D and E F is parallel angle is to C D. C C C D. This angle, this is the line A B is parallel to C D. This is not angle. Yes, A B is parallel to C D when 
as EF is perpendicular to CD and angle GED is equal to 126 degrees. So find AG, uh, angle AG, angle GEF, and angle FGE. A G E. A G E. This angle. G E F. G E F. This angle. And F G E. F. F G E. This angle. Angle A G E is equal to one twenty degrees because they're inter. Uh, in uh, alternate interior angles because G angle G E D is equal to angle A G E. So you say how much it is? 126 degrees. Uh, 126 degree because this this may be the like this, no? Alternate interior angles. Alternate interior. So this is 126 degree, right? Good. What about the other one? GEF G E F plus F E D is equal to G E D. So which uh, so 126 degrees minus 90 degrees will be equal to G E F. Okay, so, so if I think you are calculating the this angle, so we can say this is the linear pair 126 plus X. 180 yeah. degrees. We can say like that linear pair. Yes, yeah, sir. This is, I think, see, my mind is working in some different direction because I have experience. Okay. Okay. So, my pro, my, from my view, it is like this. And you, what you were saying? That G E F plus F D F E. -D. G, uh, now you are calculating this angle, right? Yeah, this okay. angle. I first calculated this angle. So this is the right angle triangle. If we have this yes. angle, this is, I think, we can calculate the rest of the all angles. Okay? Okay, sir. So do it. Angle GEF is equal to 36 degrees. GEF is 36 degrees. I'm reviewing all the information what I have written over here. So you can think refresh. Yeah. So angle GED, GEF is equal to 36 degrees. GED. No, GEF, GEF. Right? How much? 36 degrees. Okay. Then we G. Then angle F G. F G E. F G E. We can do 120, uh, 180 minus 126 because angle A G E plus angle F G is equal to 180 degrees. So, 180 minus 126, right? Yeah, which will be 54. 54. So, 54 plus 36 is how much? 90 degree. If we add these two, then it's 90 degree. Yes, sir. So it's the right angle triangle. So this will be <clears throat> 90 degree. This is yes, because. Sir. And so we are done with all angles, right? Yes, sir. So you are learning now? No, I, yes, I'm understanding. Okay. So the next question is. This is a billion dollar question. <laughs> so what do they mean by drop 
line parallel to st through point r draw a line parallel to st this is the st line yeah you can see them uh, are you able to see the movement of this pen tip yeah yeah i can okay so a parallel line like that okay Let me let me draw this in some honest way. Uh, oh my God! Okay, no, no, it's not true. Shape, shape, and this is straight line. What do I? Can you say this is parallel? Yes. No. Then this is parallel. Okay. So now proceed. What we have to find? QRS. QRS, this line. All information are given. The information which are being provided, you may write on the graph. Draw a draw a rough a draw a similar graph on your notebook using the instrument box. Yes. If you are able to draw the diagram in the proper way, now you will get the idea. So mm -hmm. I was saying today in the class when I given some problem. So I said no pen, no gain. Okay. If you want move the pen, you won't have any gain. finished how we will calculate this angle see what i do uh, i will extend this like okay so i will extend it as well so now this is two lines yeah parallel lines and this is the transcendent line so find the corresponding angle Alternate interior angle, alternate exterior angle, corresponding angles, and you will get the answer hopefully. Yes. 
So can you put the, for the parallel lines A, B, so because it's kind of confusing. But uh, what you are saying, I should remove it? No, no, the parallel line, could you just put A, B at the end? Like at the end, okay, A name. and B. You, mean, you means I should give it a name, right? Yeah. Okay. So angle uh, uh, B, uh, angle QRA plus angle QRB will be equal to 130. No, no, uh, angle QRB will be equal to 130 degrees. QRB. Not QRB, QRS, QRS, QRS. QRS. This angle, yes, sir. QRS, you say that this is 130 degree. It's visible to you, the front is visible. Uh, no, yeah, it will be, it will be angle S, like it will be angle ARS will be equal to 130 degrees. Where's a R S this one. Yeah. 130 degree. Yeah, good. Very good. So these are the easy question. Now we what I did, I only played, I only draw a few lines. What I did, yeah. I did nothing more now. I'm just playing with yeah. some lines or something. Yeah. I only think I am I'm only able to do that because I have experience. So don't compare myself with your your own intellect or something. Yeah, okay. So your your intellect level is different from mine. So you if I could have not drawn all these parallel lines, sorry, 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 sorry. Like this only. I will put this parallel line only. Okay, so how you will process the image? Actually, I draw some few parallel lines, so it was easier for you to... Yeah, so that was easier actually, it was easier. Yeah, but the original problem is this only. Yeah. So you are free to draw lines, okay? There's no harm. Okay. So we can find angle QRA as like angle PQR plus angle QR is equal to 180 degrees. Angle QRA plus angle SRB, right? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. QRB, right? Yeah. Hmm. Not QRB, sir. QR, PQR. PQR. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me write whatever you are saying. Just it. So, will you kindly repeat it again? Angle, Angle. PQR. Yes. Plus angle Q R A. Q R A is equal to one eighty degrees. P Q R. Then Q R A. Q R A. Q R A. You are saying this is one hundred eighty degree. On what basis yeah. you are saying? Because I like extended the QR like line and not that line. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I extended and I saw like one. So, a. so it's true. It's also true. 
So then it will be 180 minus 110 is equal to uh, 170 degrees. Angle Q R A will be 180 minus 110, right? Yeah, so it will be 70 degrees. So we got this angle 70 degree, right? What about the... the same thing we can do for the uh, angle the, for angle S R B. We can do angle T like uh, to find angle S R B. We can do whatever one, whatever you wanna do, do it and show me the procedure and result as well. Okay. 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 So I'm just over here.
you go you got the answer if you think you can get but you take you may take time so you can leave this for the after session okay just one minute sir i think i got it just one okay. minute You may keep this after session. You do yourself. Okay. okay. And then send me the solution. If okay, you sir. if you feel that you will take time, no issue. Okay, take time. But after this session, try to solve it and come up with solution. The next sir, I got the answer, but could we could I just tell you if it's correct or not? You do you do th from uh, procedure one to final procedure, okay? And you have the check. You have the check as well, na? You may check instead of I check. You first check how you will check. Uh, okay, sir. Where is my screen? Where my screen gone? So I got the answer actually. I got it. Okay, you got the answer. Yeah. Oh, I go. I lost my slides. Where it is? Where it is? I don't know where the slides. I don't know where the slides are. The screen is white. Yes, sir. I don't know where the slide went. This was in that was in this only. But where it is. I lost the slide. Now it will be down. Now it will be down. So you got the solution? Yes, sir. But I lost the slide. I don't know what's the technical issue. It's not visible to you. It's the white screen only, right? Yes, sir. So you can go you can go from the starting, maybe beginning slide, the first slide, and then scroll down. Mm, but 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 
for the time being i have this ncrt screen is visible is this yes visible? sir okay so this was the this two was the question right yeah the question number two no no, no question three. Three. okay the so question number three so what's your answer will you either you can yeah. whatsapp me or you can show on the screen I can show you on the screen. Yes, of course. Okay, okay. So PQR. So P Q R P Q R P Q R plus Q R A plus Q R A is one hundred eighty degrees. So seventy degrees. Okay. And then R S T plus this is one hundred twenty degree. So this is okay. Okay, sixty degree, sixty degree, sixty degree. Okay. So if sixty degree is okay, otherwise you also send me in the WhatsApp. Okay, after the class, after the session. Okay, sir. Okay, so we have the another question. I'm just making it to you. This is. Don't worry, we will get everything back. Uh -huh. oh. It's not visible to you. Just give me a second. I'm just recreating the graph. And we'll okay. be back. Sometimes this technology behaves in complete different way. It's beyond expectation. <laughs> yes, sometimes. So I'm sharing you with the uh, screen one touch. This is visible now? Yes, sir. So can you read the question? In figure 6.26, uh, if uh, AB is parallel to CD, angle APQ is equal to 50 degrees and angle PRD is equal to 1. 127 degrees. Find X and Y. It's the easy. I think we did it, na? Yeah, we did this already. I did. We did this in class. Okay. So, will you do it again? Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Okay. We did here as well. I think no. That's what the angle was in ratio there. Ah, uh, yeah. It's showing that angle PRD is equal to uh, 127 degrees. So obviously, it will, uh, angle CQP, uh, PQC will be equal to 127 degrees as well. So one, this will be 127 degrees as well, right? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So that's true. So you will, we will get Y from this relation only, okay? Yeah. 50, and 50 plus Y is 127 degree, right? So 127 degree minus 50 will be uh, 77 degrees. This will be... 77 degrees here. Yeah. 27. So we got y is equal to 27. Okay. Degrees. So what about x? x will be 
because uh, angle PQC is equal to also 127 degrees. PQC. See, you are not surprised. If we'll draw this line back and this will that these two parallel, so what this angle is? It'll be 50 degrees. Okay. So 50 degree plus 77 degrees, how much? 50 degree plus 77 yeah. degrees, how much? So, uh, 127 degrees. So for your extra knowledge, I'm removing all these part. You are done with this. So I'm giving you one, there is one theorem, okay. This is P, Q, R is a triangle. Just a minute, give me a second. I have to receive a call. Okay, sir. Are you back? So uh, there is a theorem. This PQR is a triangle. PQR is a triangle. Your mic is off. Sorry, sir. Yes. PQR is a triangle. This PQR is a triangle. P Q, R is a triangle and this is an external angle, okay? Yes, sir. So this external angle will be equal to the sum of two farthest angle. This external angle will be equal to the sum of sum of two Far F A R T H E S T farthest. You I may be farthest spelling is true. Yes, sir. Maybe you check. Okay. Farthest angle. So which is the farthest angle for this? Far. Just keep on the far. This angle and this angle. Right? Yeah. So yeah. we see that that the 50 and 20 comes 127 degree. Mm -hmm. So this is the theorem. You may, you must have to remember or keep in mind. Okay. It's okay. This problem is okay. Any confusion? No, sir. So this is the, and this is true for any angle. Okay, see. This is true for any angle. If we will draw one line, over here, okay. If we draw mm -hmm. one line over here and we say this is y, so this y will be equal to these two angles, this and this. Okay, sir. So it's true. Yes, sir. We saw now it's true. 50 plus 77 comes 127. So this yeah. is verified in another way. The last question of this chapter is this one. What is this one question? Let me make it some visible. Now it's okay. It's visible. Totally visible. Hmm. So read this question and in figure 6.27 pq and rs are two mirrors placed parallel to each other and incident ray ab strikes the mirror pq at b the reflected ray moves along the path bc and strikes the mirror rs at c and again reflects back along cd prove that ab is parallel to cd where is AB? This AB. Okay, this line and this line. So, you know, this question is a bit uh, higher standard. 
higher order so, thinking is skill reminding me of physics for, for it's uh -huh. reminding me of physics higher order thinking a skill so this is incident ray i uh, we will try to make a pair perpendicular at this point okay this is one perpendicular and another will be here right Yes, sir. Are you tired? No, sir. Hmm. See, this is, it. oh my gosh. I'm now I scared that it may remove. Okay, no, no, no. So this is AB's incident light. Yeah. AB's incident, so this will be incident angle. I. Okay, this is reflected okay. ray. BC is reflected ray. So this is R. So mm -hmm. it says that a I angle I is equal to angle R. Okay. Similarly, for this BC, this is incident angle again. So I'm saying it a I prime. And this is corresponding to reflected angle. So I will say it R prime. So angle I prime will be equal to angle R prime, right? Yeah. And we know that this is BM and this is CN. This is parallel to each other. So as we did the first question, see, this is angle bisector. Okay, again, this is angle bisector. Angle I is equal to angle R. So you may say this is angle bisector. This is again the angle bisector. Yeah. What is the angle bisector? It's by uh, it's bisect. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. Any by one bisector will be equal to half of the angle. Okay. So if I is equal to R, so we may say na this is the bisector bisecting the ABC. Yeah, so ABC is, will be equal to I plus R. Uh, angle ABC, angle ABC is equal to I plus R. So I plus yeah. I, right? So this will be 2I. Yeah. So I will be how, how much? Half of ABC. Half of okay. So it's okay. bisecting now? Yes, sir. So similarly, this is also bisecting this reason? Yes, sir. So, so as we did the first question, as we solve the first question, yeah, we, we can proceed in the similar manner. Okay. Okay. So thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. Will you, you do can. it? Will you do it? Yes. Should I'll I do put, it. should I post it as the homework? Yes, sir, you can because I need the question. Okay. I don't have them. Yes, of course I will give you. Okay. So okay. 